Good morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Today. I remember uh, years ago, I was a young pastor in Oakland, and one of our families had a baby shower, and for whatever reason, they invited me. And I came, there was a bunch of strangers, a bunch of young families, young couples, and here I am uh, in the midst of this. I was a young single pastor. I couldn't have been a day over 27. And I'll just never forget, like I only know the family for whom was having this little baby, so I was there to bless them and, and, and encourage them. But there are all these young couples, some of whom went to church, some of whom did not. And I'll never forget, we played some little uh, game and it was with parents and kids. And, you know, I don't remember the exacts, but let's just say you had to kind of throw this in that to move on to the next round. And here I'm throwing my little, you know, happy sack or whatever it was in the round. And I'll never forget watching this young lady and her little boy cheat on the game. Like, literally, this lady and this little boy pulled the little hat closer to them, and the mama told the boy, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Nobody's watching. And I was just thinking, the unmitigated doll, y'all almost blew the whole whistle on this woman, cheating on the game. And my heart broke, to be quite honest, because here, here this little innocent five, six-year-old boy is being told by his parent to cheat. And the reason it broke my heart, because I saw a little boy who was never, ever going to be able to get ahead because he had been taught that cheating is okay. In 2 Timothy <laughs> chapter 2, Verse five, Paul says, an athlete is not crowned unless he competes according to the rules. Oh man, I know it's supposed to be devotional and encouraging, but I'm really talking to myself as well as I am talking to you. You don't get to get God's reward unless you do life God's way. I don't get to get God's rewards unless I live life God's way. And I just want to encourage us in that, that, that this moment you may be in, that Satan may be tempting you to find a shortcut that doesn't glorify God. And you're thinking about half doing something. Or worse yet, you're thinking about doing something in a totally ulterior way from the gospel. Just hear me say, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. What does it mean for you to be faithful? What does it mean for you to just trust that God's way is better, even if, even if God's way means you don't win and accomplish as much as you hope? God's promises are yes and amen. And I don't know about y'all, but today I'm asking God for the power to believe that I'd rather be third place and on God's side than first place and on the world's side. Compete like an athlete according to the rules. That's all for today. I'll see you next time.